So you've got a great idea for a film. It just doesn't involve star-crossed lovers, undead zombies, or 10-foot blue people. Well, this may be the video for you. We spoke to the people behind 137 Films, their successful independent filmmaking company started by people just like you. They make science documentaries, and they're going to tell us how they do it. I'm Clayton Brown, and I recently bought a space helmet off of eBay. I'm Monica Long Ross and I collect home movies. We make films out of the world of science. There's some discovery in the air somewhere. And that's our niche and um, we're pretty passionate about it. Other team members include Carol, the director of operations, and Andrew. He's the executive director who also produced their first film called The Atom Smashers. We were following a group of scientists at Fermilab. They were looking for this incredibly rare subatomic particle called the Higgs boson, which no one has ever heard of, including us. Ultimately, as we like to say, the film is about America's strange relationship with science. In the simplest theories, it's just one special particle. But beyond that, as soon as we find this last piece of the puzzle, we will have the answer to everything about the basic structure of our world. So that's fantastically exciting. The film won several awards and toured around the world. It was also picked up by the popular PBS series Independent Lens and is now available on Netflix and iTunes. But getting there wasn't easy. The crew started from the bottom and worked their way up the funding ladder to complete the Atom Smashers. And early on, we did anything. We, we had four yard sales where we solicited our friends and we had junk in our basements and everything. We, we, we found a backyard we could use and we advertised this yard sale and we, we paid for our first camera with our yard sales. And we had fundraisers at bars and at galleries and you know asked our friends and families for money. So we were really trying to get money any way we could. And we started writing grants, local grants. Some of them were $500, sometimes $1,500. And our, our smaller grants got a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And we started to have some more contacts in the nonprofit world. And so just last fall, we were lucky enough to um, be selected by the, the Driehaus Foundation for some uh, John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur money from their arts fund, which was really great. But if you're just starting out, Monica says funding shouldn't be your main concern. First make a good piece of work, because that's going to move you up the ladder more than, oh, now we got this grant and now we got that one. You get the grants because you made a good piece of work. The group just wrapped up production on their next documentary. They were going to call it The Experiment, but a little movie starring Adrian Brody and Forrest Whitaker just came out by the same name. So they're back to the drawing board. If you want to follow their journey, visit 137films.org. Thanks for joining me here at cinephile.com. I'll see you next time.